Hey, 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 how y'all doing this morning, man? Check in, check in. How y'all doing this morning? How y'all doing this morning? Welcome to the video, man. Y'all know the drill. First thing first, I need for y'all to say good morning to me. After you say good morning to me, I need y'all to let me know where y'all viewing me from so I can shout out some of y'all's areas. How y'all doing this morning? It's your favorite online motivational speaker, your favorite online life coach. It is your girl, Street Poet. Welcome into 2023. That's right. How y'all doing, man? Happy New Year to everybody that I haven't said Happy New Year to. Happy New Year to everybody, man. Wishing everybody a wonderful, wonderful New Year, man. Full of nothing but peace, love, and blessings. Greenville, how y'all doing? Chicago, what's up? Baton Rouge, Big Dallas is here this morning. How y'all doing? Happy New Year to you guys as well. Dallas, Texas, I got six tickets left on the event right before we are sold out in Dallas, Texas, January the 28th. If you have not already, jump on the app real quick. Go over there and grab your tickets off Eventbrite, Dallas, Texas. I will be in your city January the 28th. Six tickets are available. What's going on? Greensboro, North Carolina. Seattle is here. Texas is here. Tennessee is here. Uh, Memphis is here. How y'all doing this morning, man? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Brooklyn is here. Brooklyn, we gonna see y'all the end of April. New Jersey, how y'all doing this morning? What's going on in Denver? Mexico is here. Virginia is here as well. Rock Hill, South Carolina. What's good? How doing this morning check in check in how y'all doing in augusta okay i see connecticut i see more texas checking in mississippi is here okay california there we go boston is in the building colorado is here arkansas is here how y'all doing this morning wishing you guys nothing but love love peace and joy man and keeping in mind that this is the year this right here is going to be our year where god is going to unblock unrelease understand and restore hello somebody and i came on this morning because I wanted to get us situ situated for this year real quick because see I know that you know we growing at a rapid play pace and um it's a lot of people that know who your coach is now you know what I'm saying a lot of folk they they don't know me like y'all know me though we've been kicking it over here for a minute I've been doing my videos over here for a minute so y'all we're a little bit different than everybody else and there's some new folk that's catching on so before we even get our feet wet over into this uh you know what I'm saying before we even get our feet wet let me do you a favor sweetie Bless your heart. I swear, boy, I tell you, you starting out the new year in the block party. There you go. You go join the block party, baby. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted us to start out real smooth like, okay? I want us to start out real smooth. And one of the things that I want you to understand is that you're going to have to increase your expectation. That's a note for some folk. For those of you that know that we take notes over here, for those of you that know how it go down over here, I'm going to need for y'all to write that down. <laughs> T-Lo, T-Lo, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to increase your expectation in this season. We're not going into this season expecting to get the, yeah, the same blessings that we got last season. I'm going to wait on y'all to double tap on my screen because when I said that part right there alone, some of y'all some of y'all should have been running. Some of y'all should have been throwing bags. Some of y'all should have been throwing shoes some of y'all should have lost it right then and there because that's what you've been struggling with you've been over there trying to figure out how do i set these goals coach what is it that you think that we should do for this this and this and the first thing that i want you to jot down in your notes already double tap on my screen real quick baby i'm increasing my expectations that's right because what worked for me last year ain't gonna work this year doors that yep what i did what i went through last year i'm not expecting to go through it again this year here i want you to understand i'm not expecting to cry those same tears i'm not going to be struggling with those same struggles i'm not sitting over there in that same storm i'm not accepting that same bare minimum i'm not walking around with that lack thinking i'm yeah that's right i'm dismantling all of that understand that i'm increasing my expectations hello somebody come on double tap on the screen real quick that's right go ahead and double tap on the screen real quick write that down in your notes real quick folk gonna be looking at you all kind of weird folk gonna be looking at you like it don't require all of that and you just gotta do too much and you gotta let folk know in this season of my life right now baby i'm gonna do too much and i'm going too far in everything that i do i'm doing too much and going too far understand that's what i'm doing i'm gonna do too much and i'm going too far every single time when it got something to do with me in this season of my life baby i want you to understand that i want all the smoke hello somebody some folk don't take you serious because you didn't play with you for so long some folk don't take you serious because they didn't seen you that pedal on the statements that you didn't made before you didn't said that you was gonna do this this and this and they didn't sat back and they didn't watch you and they didn't seen that you were slow with doing it 
it. They seen that you ain't have no sense of urgency with really getting it done. They seen that you was lying to yourself. They seen that you was inconsistent with yourself. They seen that you did a whole bunch of talking, but when it came time to start making these things come into fruition, they seen that you wasn't showing up for yourself the way that you should. You wasn't taking care of yourself the way that you should. You wasn't pouring into yourself the way that you should. This is what folks seen. So in this season, kicking off 2023, the title for today is, I'm going to increase my expectations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want, yeah, put it in your notes, baby. Increase, I'm what you're doing. I'm increasing my expectations. What used to work for me ain't working this season, baby. That's right. What I used to put up with, not putting up with it in this season. What I used to tolerate, won't be tolerating it in this season, baby. Yep, I might have used to let you talk to me like that. I might have used to let you walk me like that. Might have used to let you in and out my life like that. Might have used to let you pick me up and put me down like that. But, baby, I want you to understand that if you play with me today with that type of thinking, I want you to understand. It's two finger swinging. Hello, somebody. I'm up out of there. The fast way only. Understand that I'm walking smooth off mid conversation. I don't have it in me to play with a single soul in this here season of my life. I'm kicking it off, increasing my expectations. Coach, why do you say that? Because I expect a win. Increasing my expectations and right up under there. I want you, I expect a win. I want you to put that up under there, right up under there. Put um, increasing my expectation. Second note, I expect a win. I expect to win. That's what I, I expect to win. I don't care what it look like. I'm expecting to win, baby. I don't care what nobody else then said. I'm expecting to win, baby. I understand that I might not have the education that y'all got, but I'm expecting to win, baby. I understand I might not have those plaques that y'all got, but I'm expecting to win. I want you to understand that which I'm expecting to win. Hello, somebody peek the hoodie, baby. Win with me or watch me win, but I'm not taking no losses. That's right. I'm not backing down when it got something to do with me. I'm not taking second place when it got something to do with me. I'm expecting to win Understand that I'm showing up to do what? To win yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm increasing my expectations right up under that. I'm expecting to win. I'm expecting to win. I don't care what nobody say. Don't care how nobody else feel. Don't care who decided they want to cut me off. Don't care who decided they no longer want to be a part of my life. Don't care who decided that this is no longer the place that they want to be. I want you to understand that it's very dangerous for you to play with me. Understand. That's right. Go play where it's safe and it won't be with me. It's very dangerous for you to try to play with me in this season right here of my life because at this point of my life, I don't care who I lose anymore Hello somebody I used to hold on to folk I used to run after folk I used to beg folk I used to coach them And try to hold their hand and guide them Because I didn't want them to walk away Because I was over there struggling That's right let's just be real Let's just tell the truth Shame the devil baby Because I was over there struggling with what? Abandonment issues Didn't think nobody was going to love me Didn't think nobody was going to care So I was over there holding on to them Because I didn't know when I was going to find somebody else So I was holding on on to them even though they treated me poorly I was holding on to them even though they was giving me the bare minimum I was holding on to them because I didn't I was over there afraid of being alone understand that but now baby oh yeah you should have caught me when I was broken I dare you to put that in your notes hello yeah that right double tap on the screen y'all almost at 50k y'all ain't gonna play this morning and I ain't either hello that that double tap on the screen mm-hmm you might as well send me some love. And those of you that was over in that same situation with me, say ouch and send a gift. If you know you was holding on to folk because you was afraid of being by yourself, say ouch and send a gift. If you know that you was over there holding on to folk that you already know that did not deserve you, and the only reason why you was holding on to them is because of your own broken issues, because of the fact that you had already experienced betrayal before, you had already had those abandonment issues before, go ahead and say ouch and send a gift, baby. That's right, be honest. Don't leave coach out there by myself. I know it ain't just me, but baby, they should have caught us while we was broken. They should have caught us while we was in shambles. They should have caught us while we were down bad. They should have caught us when we didn't know our worth. They should have caught us when we was invested, baby. But now that I didn't pick myself up, honey, dust myself off, then got these tears wiped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you better play where it's safe now because it ain't safe to play with me. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to unloose this thing, but I can't. Baby, yeah, uh, yeah, you you gonna have to play where it's safe. I'm expecting to win. That's where I'm at. I walked into this new year, and one of the first things that was on my mind was this right here. I'm about to increase my expectations. That's right. What used to work for me ain't gonna work no more. I'm, I'm not concerned about what happened in my yesteryears anymore. Not concerned about them yester tears anymore. Not caught up on those one time at band camp stories. I can care less who feel, however they feel, baby. Feel it over there. I'm not clearing up nothing for nobody. Not breaking nothing down for nobody. Not about to try to make it make sense for nobody. Don't care whether or not you're on my side or not. Don't care whether or not you're gonna agree with me or disagree with me. At the end of the day, one of the things that I learned walking out of last year was what I matter. Uh, that's a mouthful. I matter. That, that that's what I. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. I matter. I matter. That's what I learned. Hello, somebody. If you've been treating yourself like you ain't matter, go ahead, double tap on the screen, Coach. I'm here for that. That's right. I'm here for that, Coach. That's for me. That's for me right there. I matter. That's right. Because at the time of you playing with yourself, the time of you making yourself second best, the time of you going over there and putting everybody else before you, the time of you going over there and pouring into their cups and leaving yours empty, the times of you dipping into you and your finances and your good health and everything else to go over there and be what everybody else needs you to be oh baby them days are dead and gone understand that you need to go ahead and do what delete the version of me that you used to know understand that version of me is expired uh, yeah, yeah. Don't turn me up today, though. Don't do, don't do it to me. We just now fresh in. This the first, this the first live of the year. Don't make me cut up too bad, y'all. This the first, this the first live of the year. Don't make me cut up too bad. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that to me, cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold my composure. But baby, I ain't even have to tell some of y'all. Some of y'all already typing expired. Some of y'all already claiming it over your life. Oh, baby, yeah, that's expired. That's right. That's expired. That's right. The version of me that you had in your mind already. The version of me that you was already over there holding on to that old broken version that old damaged version that version of me that was over there living my life in shambles that was sliding down the wall that was begging people running out the folk oh baby that's expired mm-hmm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well go ahead and get rid of that. You might as well go ahead and throw that out. You might as well go ahead and walk away from that. You might as well. You might as well. You might as well, baby, because I'm gonna tell you right now that person no longer exists. I'm about to introduce myself. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to reintroduce myself to a whole lot of folk, and it's guaranteed that some of y'all ain't gonna like me when I reintroduce myself. It's sure that some of y'all, mm -hmm, some of y'all gonna feel a certain type of way. Some of y'all gonna feel a certain type of way, cause guess what? The access that you used to have, you ain't gonna have no more. The way that I used to run after you and try to help you do this, this, and this. Oh, you ain't got to worry about that no more. Me bending over backwards and doing this and going outside my way, overly extending myself and my services and my finances and coming to everybody's rescue. Oh, you ain't even got to worry about that anymore. I'm in a season of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a season of increasing my expectations. That's what I'm doing. I'm in a season of increasing my expectations. I expect to win. I don't care what nobody else say. That's right. For too long, we didn't walked around and we didn't thought that we don't happen for us. We, for too long, we didn't walked around and thought, oh, yeah, well, because I got this done to me when I was younger, I had this person remove this one, this, and I didn't have this person walk out, that we just sit over there in that broken shell and thinking that somebody holding us back, thinking that somebody is preventing us from being great, thinking that somebody is separating us from the success that we supposed to have and nothing is separating you from your next move but you ain't nothing preventing you from living great but you ain't nobody stopping you from having that life that you deserve to have but you and it's going to require for you to do what I, I expect to win I mean that's right I'm increasing my expectations in this season that's right the next six months baby y'all gonna have hell on your hand hello <laughs> yeah 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 mm -hmm. It's going to be that, baby. Next six months, I'm locked in to me, baby. I want you to understand you're going to have hell on your hand these next six months because I ain't finna play with nobody. I'm not finna dilute the person that I am for nobody. I'm not about to tiptoe around nothing for nobody. I want you to understand that I walked into the season and I'm expecting a win. I'm increasing my expectations. What used to work won't work no more. Those doors, I appreciate them and they was open, but now it's time for something new. That's right. So when every single day that you wake up, you put ten toes to the ground, 
now, you step outside and you understand that, baby, this is a day to do it all over again. I'm doing it all over again. Whatever mistakes that I made back then, that was then. Whatever I struggled with back then, that was then. Whatever brokenness that I had to handle, I handled that already back then. But the days of me living in my past, oh, baby, I'm over that. The days of me carrying all my trauma, I'm over that. The days of me sitting back whining and crying about who like me and who don't, who pouring into me and who won't, and this and that and all this negative stuff that we tell ourselves, oh baby, that's out of here. I want you to understand that, yep, you should have caught me when I was down bad because now I'm in a season where I'm expecting to win. Yeah, yeah, that's that just gonna be that on that, baby. Yeah, that's the, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with it, baby. That's where I'm at. You might as well double tap on the screen real quick. Double tap on the screen real quick. I'm expecting to win. That's what I'm doing. I'm increasing my expectations because if I walk around into this year with the same expectations that I had last year, then that means that there was no growth. There was no healing. There was no development. That means nothing happened. You gotta increase your expectations of your every single day that I I wake up I'm now having it in my mind that no matter what happens no matter who come or who go I'm gonna get done what needs to be done with or without you understand that you will not now you're not gonna put no fear in me not in this not in not in this season I just I I, I just want I just want to I just want to say that and if y'all don't I, I you not you not finna put no you not finna put no fear in me you ain't you ain't finna do that this ain't the season that we in some of y'all need to understand that some of y'all got to square up and some of y'all ain't been squaring up some of y'all been acting like cowards some of y'all been letting folk treat you any kind of way some of y'all been letting folk talk to you any kind of way some of y'all been letting folk play with you like you was somebody's toy like you was a little Barbie doll or a Tonka truck they've been picking you up and putting you down however they see fit some of y'all been allowing folk to just do whatever they want to do in your life for so long that you don't even know how to stop it you don't even know how to put your foot down and the truth of the matter is until you decide within yourself that you want to want something different for your life until you put your foot down and understand that you deserve better until you put your foot down and let it be known that you're no longer going to tolerate that behavior then guess what if you don't say nothing it's going to continue if you don't do nothing then it's going to continue if you don't stand up for yourself then it's going to continue if you don't utilize your voice utilize your platform to do what you're called to do then what's been happening will continue to happen well nothing change in your life until you start making it change that's just how this work. That's 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 how it work. I don't, I don't know who then told you in it. Yeah, that's just how it work. You can't expect no change. You you got to go and create it, baby. That's right. You 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 can win. We can expect our win because that's going to happen. We can increase our expectations. There's nothing wrong with that. But you got to have some work. You got to have some work put behind your name. You got to be willing to get out there in the trenches. You got to be willing to get out there in the mud. You got to be willing to get over there and you got to be willing to do what square up with some folk. You got to let folk know I bought or I ball baby you are what you won't do oh baby you're not gonna scare me what you won't do you're not gonna silence me what you won't do you're not gonna have me over here feeling making me feel as though I can't be my true authentic self you're not gonna rob me of that especially after you done been yeah man I thought I went through so much in my childhood walking around mute not saying nothing not doing nothing letting folks say and do whatever they want to do however they want to say and do and feeling like you ain't got no voice and you can't do this and that oh baby i'm gonna say what i gotta say and i'm planning on pissing people off and i don't care nothing about it baby because how i feel oh baby that matter i want you to understand that you're not finna box me in you're not finna make me feel like i'm less than you're not finna make me feel like i gotta fear you you're not finna make me feel like i gotta tread lightly because of you oh that ain't finna happen baby you better strap up and you better get ready because guess what that's right i got my whole armor on that what I do. I got my whole, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for whatever, baby. If, if you one of my church folk, y'all already know what that means. Oh, baby, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go where I gotta go. I'm, I'm ready to go wherever I gotta go, baby. I'm telling you that right now. I'm ready to go where I gotta go, and I want all the smoke when I get there. I'm ready to go wherever I gotta go, and I want all the smoke when I get there. Understand that some things you gotta take, especially when it got something to do with your life, you gotta understand that some things you can't take by simply whispering. Some things you ain't gonna be able to get by whispering 
in the folk by playing nice with folk, by watering things down with folk. You got to understand that it's going to be some places and some things that you're going to have to deal with in your life. Baby, you ain't going to be able to tiptoe around it. You're going to have to take it by force. That's a note. Take it by force. Take it by force. Take it by force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you threw your phone, go get it real quick. I got a little bit more. I got a little, I got, you, you have to take it by force. You're going to have to take it by force. It's going to be some things in your life you are not going to be able to get because of the whispering, because of you trying to play nice, because you over there trying to get along with everybody else. You trying to fit in with everybody else. You trying to make sure that everybody else is on board. You better get it understood right now, here today, that it's going to be some things in your life that you're going to have to take by force you're gonna have to walk into that environment you're gonna have to square up you're gonna have to look folk eyeball to eyeball and you're gonna have to say give me my stuff yeah, that, that, that's, 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 that's that on that. You're going to gonna have to come up off of mine. Hello, somebody. You're going to have to come up off of mine. That's right. You want, uh, yeah, I know I talk to my church people. This for my people that's in the street, though. You know how we talk. Baby, you're going to have to come up off of mine. Y'all know how we do, baby. When we say you got to come up off of mine, you're going to have to give me me. That's right. I'm coming for all my stuff, baby. I'm coming for all of my stuff. If that there belongs to me, then run it. Hello, somebody. Then run it. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that up off of you. Why? Because I got an expectation over my own life, and I'm expecting to win in this here season understand that i'm not getting distracted i'm not getting discouraged understand that that's not what i'm doing i'm not getting distracted and i'm not getting discouraged i'm not getting distracted and i will not be discouraged i want you to write them down in big bold letters baby that's right because there's so many times this past couple of months when people been going outside of their way to try to do that to you they want to distract you that's what they want to do they want to they want to distract you from your purpose they want to distract you from your growth they want to distract you from your development. They want you to feel like you are not the person that you say that you are. Some folk go outside of their way to try to play mind games on you. To try to make you feel like you are not who you say that you are. And I tell you what, baby, you better, you better be ready to square up. You better, uh, yeah, you, better be, you better get ready to square up. I'm not being distracted and I'm not being discouraged. I'm not being distracted or discouraged. Not, not, not neither one of them. I'm not doing that in this season right here. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it. I, because one of the things that you got to understand is that you, wh whatever it is, you become what you do constantly. <laughs> That's a note. That's a note. Double, double, double tap. Double tap real quick. You are what you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you do constantly. What you do constantly. So if you wake up every single day and you waking up to expecting to win, baby, you gonna win. If you wake up every single day and you running out the peace and you speaking peace over your life and you're operating in peace every day, then guess what's gonna come to your life? Nothing but peace. Understand that. It's gonna be some stuff that's gonna come to try to distract you. It's gonna be some stuff that's gonna come to try to destroy you. It's gonna be some stuff that's gonna come to try to discourage you. But just just like I told you, I said this to you, right? I said, guess what? The moment that you start making the stride to do the right thing in your life, the moment that you start saying that I'm going to do what is necessary to create a better version of myself, you got to understand that tests are going to come. Trials are going to come. Tribulations is going to come. Dark hours is going to come. Wilderness is going to come. It's going to be some things that's going to be sent to you, but I need for you to understand that those things, those things cannot destroy you. Those things cannot harm you those things cannot do that the only thing that they can do is distract you they can do that they can discourage you the only way that you're going to lose is if you throw in the towel they don't have that type of power they just pretending that they do yeah, that, that that's just it. <laughs> you ain't even got the power that you pretending to have, baby. That's right. Because yeah, you ain't got the power that you pretend to have. Yeah, I know it's some folk that's dancing, some folk running up and down their hall, yelling glory, glory, glory. Yeah, baby, because see, sometimes we be thinking that that stuff about to take us out. We be thinking that how in the world can I come back from this? We be thinking that all hell and high water is just breaking loose in our life. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to bounce back. Ain't no way in the world I'm going to do this. Ain't no way in the world that all, all the excuses up under the sun. But the truth of the matter is, baby... If you look back over your life and you look at all of those situations where you didn't count it yourself out, baby, you still here. Look at all back over your life. Look at all the times that some of us didn't spend in the penitentiary, in the county. And guess what? We still here. And we thought that that was going to be the end of us. Look back at all the times that some of us might have been strung out on drugs, might have been doing this, that, and the third. And we might have thought that that was going to be the last of us. And look at you, baby. You still right here. Some of us have been in those broken marriages, broken relationships, been 
treated like we was nothing, been over there, been beaten and been bruised our whole entire life, then had our innocence robbed by people that we love more than anything, and we thought, how in the world will I ever be able to come back from this? And look at you still living, baby. Look at you still clothed in your right mind. I want you to understand that trials and tribulations are going to come. Hardship is going to come, but if you focus on, the, yeah, 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 if you let it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll prevent you from growing. It'll prevent you from healing. It'll prevent you from living your best life. One of the things that you got to understand that, see, it's a lot of times that you didn't count it yourself out and you can look back and see that you're still here. It's a lot of things that you didn't went through in life and you thought that that was going to be the end of you and you still here. There you go right there, friend. That's exactly what I was about to do because, see, some of y'all might know me like that. I'm still standing. Baby, don't make me sing. Mm-mm. That what Monica said. Monica said, baby, I'm still standing, baby. Yeah, I'm still standing. I, yeah, that, 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 that's just what it is. You got to wake up sometime and look at the situation and look at the stuff that you're going through. And you just got to break out in that song. I'm still standing. That's it, baby. I'm still standing. I want you to understand. I'm not about to let nothing distract me. I'm not about to let the nothing come over here and pull me out of my position. I'm not about, about to let you destroy me or come over here and try to discourage me. At the end of the day, I'm doing what I'm expecting to win. I don't care what it looked like to anybody else. I don't care how bad it might seem to other people. I don't care how dark it might be over here. I'm still expecting to win. I walked into this year, and when I walked into this year, I said 2023 is what? It's the year of me. If you on board, go ahead and send me some love. Yeah, 2023, oh, it's the year of me. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on that, baby. 2023, that's the year of me, baby. I'm, I'm standing on that. I didn't gave all I'm going to give to folk. Understand that next six months, baby, I'm so locked in. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to go nowhere that it's not beneficial. I'm not going nowhere where it's not work. Understand that. I ain't got time to hang out with nobody. I'm not trying to hang out no with nobody. I'm not trying to do none of that. For the next six months, I'm solely focusing on motivational speaking, life coaching, growth and development, picking up, getting into some of these other people's seminars, into some of their Patreons as well. All I'm doing is up getting more energy more energy reciprocating more energy getting more information i'm dedicated to learning i'm dedicated to growing understand that baby i ain't got time to play with a soul that's how i got in the situation that i'm in or that i was in back then playing with folk tolerating folk settling for folk trying to hold on to folk trying to protect folk trying to help folk now when i sit back and i look at it i'm like man i could have been so much further in life had i not been trying to help you yeah, 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 y'all mind as hell. Yeah, some of y'all like, oh my, yeah, go ahead and say ouch and send the gift. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all might have wanted to send that to somebody just now. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all wanted to send that to somebody right now. You'd have been so much further in life if you weren't trying to help them. Yeah, some some of y'all caught that right when I said it. That's right. Some of y'all look back over your life right now when you annoyed with yourself because you know for a fact that it, had I not been over there trying to save everybody, had I not been over there pouring into everybody, had I not been over there bending backwards, bending over backwards for everybody, then guess what? Right where I wanted to be is where I would have been if not further than that. And half of the time, half of the struggles that we go through in life when you look back at the situation you like man you know what all i had to do was mind my own business all i had all all i had to do was mind my own business you know what i'm saying but the thing about it is we had them caught we had them put in our mind that we can save folk and we had folks over here making cute little memes putting them all over social media talking about people attracted to you because you got a healing spirit not understanding that those folks were really attracted to you because y'all was trauma bonding hello somebody i'm sorry i didn't mean to say it like that because i know that just hurt some folk feelings but that's just the truth of the matter some of y'all swore up and down y'all had a healing spirit baby they running after you because you got a healing spirit they want to be up under you because you got a healing spirit go ahead and say ouch and send the gift and the truth of the matter is it wasn't the healing of the spirit that they was attracted to what they was attracted to was the trauma bond you've been through something and i've been through something and we can go and sit and have a pity party together you done been through something i done been through something and you still broken and i see that you still broken and i can use you you still broken and i can drag you through the mud you still broken but you still got some blessings attached to you 
So let me go drain your account. Let me go run up your gas bill. Let me come lay up on your couch. Let me come over here and use you for everything that you got. That's right. They wasn't attracted to the gift that you had of healing. They was attracted to the fact that they knew that you were still broken. You were still in shambles. You still did not know your worth. You didn't know what you was bringing to the table. So they came over there to use you and abuse you just like everybody else that had done way before now. And that's the reason why you felt like, oh, I'm laying here and I'm pillow talking with you, giving you all this information and doing this and doing that about what I didn't been through and how bad somebody else didn't hurt me, how they did this, that, and the third. And you didn't even realize that they about to do it to you, but do it to you 10 times worse. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That was bad. That was passion, but it was true. Yeah, yeah. Now they about to do it 10 times worse. They about to do it 10 times worse. Yeah, you done laid down pillow talk with them and told them everything that you done tolerated and they about to pour it on thick, baby. That's right. They about to remind you of how forgiving you was to other folk and all. They about to go outside of their way and they going to do the same exact thing to you and they going to do it 10 times worse. And I'm going to tell you right now, before you even get into this year good, I want you to understand that it's going to hurt like hell coming back from it. Why do you say that, coach? Because the first person might have done it and did not. I mean to do it they done it and they was just you know living life and doing whatever but the second time when you didn't explain to a person how you feel and you didn't explain to a person whatever it is that you didn't went through in life and they turn around and they hurt you 10 times worse than the other individual baby that's something that is very hard to shake off i don't know come on talk to me nice ladies hello somebody when you sit there and tell a person how bad you didn't hurt and how you had to come through some stuff some stuff and how you had to heal yourself don't nothing hurt you like that you'll be looking over you'll be looking at them all kind of crazy you hurt me when you ain't even have to you 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 hurt me when you ain't you ain't even you ain't even have to do me like that you ain't, you ain't even have to do me like that. The thing about it is, I didn't even really want no relationship with you. I wasn't even trying to be connected to nobody. I was out here really just picking myself up. I was out here really just trying to rebuild myself. And you knew all of that. And you came into my life and you wanted to take advantage of my good heart. You came into my life and you seen that I was vulnerable. And you wanted to take advantage of the fact that I was broken and that I was vulnerable. How dare you? And now it messes you up even more now than it was before because you was already battling with trust issues. You was already battling with abuse. You was already battling with disloyalty. You was already battling with all of these things. And now here I am. Then let my guard down because you didn't beg for my attention. Here I am. Then let my guard down because you didn't beg me to move out that wall. Here I am. Then let my guard down because you insisted on trying to love me. Here I am. Then had a vulnerable moment. Then let my guard down because here you are applying so much pressure, begging me for a relationship, begging me for a commitment, begging me to give you a chance just for you to waste my time. Mm. Yeah, 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 sis, I know that hurt. Yeah, yeah, say ouch and send a gift. Yeah, just for, yeah, just for you to waste my time. You beg for my time just to waste it? You you ran after me like that just to waste my time? You did all of that, yeah, just to waste my time? You, you mean to tell me that, mm, don't nothing hurt like that? You beg for my time just to waste it. Went outside your way to distract me from the peace that I was creating for myself. To come over here <clears throat> and cause hell in my life. Distracted me from my purpose. Pulled me off my course. So now everything that I've been working on for me has been neglected because I'm trying to help you. Everything that I'm supposed to be doing for me has been neglected because here I am over here trying to help you. So when I say that these people can't destroy you, when I say that these people can't take you out, what I'm saying to you is what they do is not what hurts you. 
It's when you get distracted is what hurts you. When you come out of position is what hurts you. They don't have that type of power. But you give up your power when you step out of position. You give up your power when you step out of alignment. They don't have that type of power. They can only do to you what you allow. And even speaking on energies and spirits, understand that if you wake up every day and you have a winning type of mentality and you're relentless when you wake up every single day and you're determined when you wake up every single day and you eat, sleep, and breathe this wind that you're speaking over your life, you got to understand that it has no other choice but to happen. You got to, yeah, 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 it ain't got no choice but to happen because that's what you're going to become. You become what you do on a regular basis. You become what what it is that you feed yourself on a regular basis it's nothing more powerful than a changed mind when I was in the street I was in the street I did everything that I wanted to do when I was in the street when I woke up and I decided that I wanted something better for my life when I woke up and I decided that I was sick and tired of my own crap that I was sick and tired of crying sick and tired of being codependent sick and tired of struggling sick and tired of the paycheck to paycheck type of mentality sick and tired of hearing what other folk tell me what I can and I can't do and who's going to accept me and who's not it took for me come on yeah <laughs> it took for me to change the way that I thought it took for me to change the way that I thought about myself, the way that I thought about my life, the way that I spoke about myself, the way that I spoke about my life, the way that I spoke about my business, the way that I spoke about my brand, the way that I spoke about my health. Every single time somebody say something negative to you, every single time somebody try to come in and put doubt and insecurities into your life, into your plan, you got to understand that it's still left up to you whether or not you absorb that from them or not you have the power to say no that ain't for me yeah 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 that, that ain't for me that ain't for me that ain't for me that ain't mine right there baby that ain't that ain't mine right there you might this you might accept defeat but i'm not you might accept depression, but I'm not. You might accept the discord, but I'm not. You might be cool with your generational curses, but I'm not. You might be all right with those strongholds over your life, but I'm not. I'm expecting, I'm expecting a win. I'm waking up and I'm increasing my expectations every single day. Oh yeah, this is what I did in 2022. What's my new goals? Mm -hmm. what's, what's my new goals? What I'm working towards now. What is it that I want next? You're not going to get nothing or nowhere in life focusing on the past. You're not going to, yeah, yeah, I just, I just want to, I want to say that and I want to say that and I want you to understand that from my lips to your heart, you are not going to get anything focusing on the past. I don't care what it was. You're not going to get anywhere holding on to your past. If you think holding on to what hurt you 20 years ago, 15 years ago is going to help you right now today, then you are lying to yourself. I know that it's hard to let it go. I know that you want everybody to understand. I, want, I know that you feel like you got to expose it. I know you feel like you got to put it on front street. But the truth of the matter is if you speaking about it every single day, Day, does nothing but bring you negative feelings if you bring it up every day does nothing but leave you with a face full of tears if you living in that moment every single hour then guess what you're doing nothing but prolonging your own healing you are the reason why you are still stuck you are the reason why you are still broken you are the reason why you are depressed you are the reason why you feel like you can't sleep at night at one point or another you gotta let that hurt hurt go let it go 
gotta let that hurt go baby yeah you gotta yeah you gotta let that hurt go and i'm i'm, I'm gonna get in somebody's house and, and 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 when i do i want you to charge it to to charge it to the heart baby charge it to the heart because coach ain't gonna tell you nothing that's gonna be wrong for you understand that you gotta let that hurt go you gotta let that hurt go it was unfortunate and i get it but you gotta let it go understand that it was unfortunate that it happened to you but you gotta let it go i know that you upset about it and i know that you didn't deserve it but you gotta let that go because as long as you look at yourself like you a victim then that's how you're going to treat yourself as long as you look at yourself like you are a victim of this this and this and that's exactly what you're going to be treating yourself and exactly how you're going to speak about yourself when you want to talk about yourself and you want to talk about the things that you've uh, went through in your life always make sure when you're wording it you're wording it as if i'm a survivor you're worrying you're wording it in a way where you're saying that i conquered that you're wording it in a way to say that i've been there i've done that this is what i'm working on next yes this happened in my life Life. Yes, it had me broken. Yes, it had me in a chokehold for a very long time. But I had to wake up and I had to understand that I could not continue to live in that moment because you are going to be whatever it is that you focus on on a regular basis. If you want to be happy, you got to focus on things that makes you happy. If you want to have joy, you got to focus on things that bring you joy. If you want peace, you got to focus and surround yourself with things and people that bring you that level of peace these are things that you have got to work on creating in your life it's not something that you can pick up at walmart you can't get this at the mcdonald drive through you want real peace in your life you gotta create it you want real love you gotta start living a life full of love these things don't just happen it requires work and you gotta believe in the work that you're doing that's why I said we're going to start out with increasing your expectation. Because, baby, it's crazy to do a whole bunch of work and you ain't got no faith in the work that you're doing. Hello, somebody. And that's the reason why you keep feeling like, is my, is my life coaching working? It, it, it's the skills working for me uh uh well while i don't feel the same i be going through this this and this and then it's like i'm i, I didn't fell off the, the the wagon again i i i don't know what i'm doing if i'm doing it right or not coach uh, uh, uh a couple of days i feel motivated then the other days i feel confused and i'm just trying to figure out what is it that i'm doing wrong coach because i know you told me to do the vision board i know you told me to go over there and take the notes and i know that you told me to do this this and this but whenever i do these things it's like mm, I feel good in that moment and then when I walk away then I don't feel good no more yeah you, because of the thing about it is you got to have faith in what it is that you're doing hello somebody let's just get on the right bus before we even start this year out okay let's just get on let's get on the right bus right now the thing about it is it's not something that you do one day it's something that you do every single day and even on the days when you don't feel like it that's when you go a little bit harder even on the days when you don't want to move you go a little bit further the thing about it is it's not about what's tangible if you get caught up on things that are tangible like cars and monies and all these different things then guess what then you're wrapped up in that type of mentality you got to understand that even in situations where you don't know what it looked like you can't figure out if you're coming or going you still got to have that same level of faith you still got to have that same level of drive you still got to have that same level of passion no matter what even when they wake up and they say oh yeah well you ain't doing too good today oh the devil is a lie baby today gonna be a good day for me you gotta make sure that you're turning it around for yourself even when the doctor walk in and say you know what your health ain't doing too good and i don't know what just happened don't even worry about it doc i get it you can't do nothing but give me your medical opinion but the person that's genuinely in control of everything and that's going to happen oh baby this is above you when you walk into that situation even in that courtroom and you're trying to figure out how is this thing going to pan out you got to understand that it's going to be a win no matter what because i gotta suffer the consequences of whatever my actions was that's right so if i do the crime i gotta be prepared to do the time but at the same time i'm not going in there with the same mentality that i had before because i'm working on myself so even if i go in i ain't staying 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so. Yeah, yeah. Even if I, even if, even if I go in, I ain't staying. Hello, church people. Even if I go in, I ain't staying. I'm gonna, even, I, I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do. But even if I go in, I ain't staying. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. Cause Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whether they wanted to go into the fiery furnace or not, they had to go. Oh, baby, y'all gonna have to go. Okay, but then sometimes you got you got to understand that you gonna have to obey the laws of the land. So when you going out here and you're doing certain things, or you in the wrong place at the wrong time, and you get caught up in the middle of something, you gotta be prepared for some adversity. You gotta be prepared for some folk to come up against you. You gotta be prepared for some folk to go outside of their way to try to distract you, to try to discourage you, to try to tell you that you're not who you know that you are. And that's the reason why I'm saying increasing your expectation, waking up every single day expecting to win, even though it might look dark, even though it might look like it ain't gonna happen for you. You gotta sometimes remind yourself by looking back over your life at all the times when everybody else had already counted you out and already said that that was going to be the end of you and that there's no way that you could ever come back from that you know how it is folk wake up every single day and they wake up and check your page just to see if you still alive just to see if you still smiling just to see if you still pressing forward just to see if you being successful just to see if you didn't posted anything negative just to see if you didn't fell into that dish that they had already dug <laughs> come on man yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, man. It's some folk around you right now. Them folk, they, they so mad at you and you ain't did them nothing. They upset with you and you ain't did them nothing. It's just your personality, baby. You waking up wanting to win and that bothers them. You waking up and wanting peace. That bothers them. You waking up and wanting joy. That bothers them. You waking up and just and choosing to not have to deal with no drama, no chaos, no generational curses, no trauma. Not putting up with their baggage that they got from umpteen relationships ago. Not going over there and holding their hand and coaching and guiding them through every single day of their childhood trauma stuff that they should have let go a long time ago and now they trying to pour it on you and make it your responsibility now they trying to pour it on you and give you false hope now they trying to pour it on you and make you feel as though you're accountable for fixing them the devil isn't lying it ain't my job to fix you just like it wasn't your job to fix me i had to work on me and you gonna have to work on you and what i'm not gonna do is neglect me for a soul baby i'm waking up i'm increasing my expectations every single day from this day forward I'm waking up to win mm -hmm. I'm waking up to win I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even about to do it because see, you got to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been, it's been plenty of times and I'm going back to Shaq, Rack, me, Shaq and the Benigo. Y'all just give me, just give me a second though. I had to get all of that off my chest real quick. I, yeah, because see, sometimes y'all be playing with folk. Y'all be out here, y'all be playing and y'all be acting like y'all don't know who y'all are. Y'all be out here playing and acting like you don't know that you done been through some tough times in your life. And some of y'all, y'all forget real fast. Y'all forget real fast that you were sliding down the wall a couple of months ago. Y'all forget real fast that your job that you got right now, you didn't have that job a couple of months ago not even a year ago if some of y'all forget right now that you didn't have the transportation that you had you was blessed with that you yeah 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 you forgot some of these doors that's been open for you and the reason why you didn't forgot some of these doors that's been open for you because you ain't did nothing but focus on the negativity that because you ain't did nothing but give life to the negativity you ain't did nothing but focus on all the no's that you got focus on all the doors that closed in your face focus on all the people that walked away from you you could go to your page right now go to your page right now you got subliminal posts after subliminal posts after subliminal posts Nothing but videos of nothing but what? Sad and depressed stuff. Stressed out stuff. All of this. You're claiming this and you're claiming that over your life. And I'm looking at you like, baby, how in the world you want to grow? You want to heal and you want to live your best life. But everything that you post, everything that you speak about is always negative. Change the way that you think. Yeah. Just because you decide that you want to live a better life and you're going to tighten up and the things that you got going on, you're going to find yourself in some tight spots. That's just going to be that on that. Understand, yeah, you're going to find yourself in some tight spots just like they did. They found themselves in a tight spot. You go, you go before the judge. You want to bow out. You, oh, Lord, I can't believe. Oh, God, I'm about to go and do this. and I'm about to go and do that. I'm about to go do it. Listen, you did the crime. You got to do the time. Understand that. But it's going to also be times when you got to walk into certain situations situations and you got to understand that you know at the end of the day what these people that say in the flesh they can only speak on what they know in the flesh when you're working on yourself you're working on yourself from the inside out not from the outside in they even if you're in a cage they can't cage your mind understand that 
And sometimes you got to go through certain things. And even in those situations, when you put in those type of situations, you got to understand that a lot of times we put in tight spots so that we can pray, so that we can fast, so that we can meditate and we can learn different skills and techniques. And sometimes you're moved out of your regular environment. You're moved out of situations that you've been in for a very long time, not to destroy you, but to protect you. Oh, that was it. That 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 was it. That that was it. It's, yeah, yeah. That 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 was it right there. Sometimes, sometimes you're removed. Come on, man. Double tap on my screen. Du yeah, double tap. On. Sometimes did you? <laughs> sometimes you're thinking that people are leaving you, and that's gonna be the end of you. When that's really the beginning. Sometimes you're thinking that, oh, I lost this job or I lost this opportunity. That's going to be the end of you. But the truth of the matter is, it's the beginning. You got to understand that sometimes you got to be removed out of your normal environment. Because that environment that you're in is detrimental to your growth, to your development. You got to understand that in some environments where you're looking for peace, there's no peace there. Where you're looking for happiness, there's no happiness there. And you got to understand that. You got to understand that there are some places in your life where you got to be separated. And, and God knows that if I leave it up to you, you're not going to leave. If I leave it up to you, you will be in that relationship for another 20 years. If I leave it to you, you will still be over there stuck in that same job for another 25 years. If I don't fire you from it, you will still be there. If I don't make that relationship leave you, you will still be there. If I don't make that marriage end right now today, then you will still be there. If I don't separate you from these streets, and even though it might seem really bad for some folk and put you behind these bars where your mama and your daddy and your family family and everybody know where you are and what you got going on if I don't pull you out of these streets these streets are going to consume you if I don't remove you from here or remove you from there then guess what these things or these things right here they're going to consume you because mentally you're not strong enough to fight against it mentally you don't have what it takes you haven't waken up what was in the inside of you to be able to do what is necessary to, for it to happen for you you want peace but you're afraid to walk away from discord how's that for teaching for the day yeah I, I ain't gonna turn it loose though i got some more y'all y'all ain't gonna start me up on my first live for the year and thank y'all gonna put a time limit on me because i'm coming I, I got i got something else i want to say yeah 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 because this is right here this for my smart folk that love to throw up that little meme love to post a little meme over there how you want to let go of somebody and hold on to them at the same time sis ask yourself that question how you want a brand new life but won't let go of your old one I need to know. <laughs> I, I need to know. Ask yourself that question. Yeah, that's how I do it, baby. I'm, and I'm going to roll my head and everything right along with it because I'm I'm co I'm confused myself. How in the world? Yeah, you you over there talking. You want to post them little memes and all of that. Child, I get so, I get so if y'all can tell by my facial expressions, I can't stand them little memes. I can't stand them little memes that they be sending. I can't stand when they post stuff that I know for a fact don't make no type of sense because what is you talking about at the end of the day? Y'all excuse all these buttons. I'm trying to get this thing back on him. But the thing about it is, baby, I need to understand that. The, oh, he won't let me go, but he won't let me go, but won't treat me right either. He won't let me go, but he's still holding on to this and holding on that. He want to hold on to me and let me go at the same time. That's the same exact. He doing you the same way he see you doing your life. But coach told you that at the beginning of 2022, the beginning of 22, people that been following me for over a year. I know it's a couple of y'all on here. One of the first things that I told you was what? People are going to treat you exactly how they see you treating you. If they they see that you're inconsistent with you then that's exactly how they're gonna be if they see that you don't really love yourself like that then guess what that's exactly how they're gonna love you the reason why they holding on to you and, and letting you go at the same time or vice versa is because that's exactly what you do in your own life that's right you say you want a better life but you won't turn the old one loose you say you want a better job but you won't turn the old one loose you say that the family members is toxic and they, they ain't hitting on nothing and they did this this and this but you won't turn them loose you're still holding 
holding on to the things that's damaging you, still holding on to the things that's been trying to destroy you, still holding on to the things that's not bringing you no level of joy, no peace, nor sanity in your life, but yet and still, you still hollering, you want something bigger and better. You got a decision to make. Yeah, you yeah, you got a decision. You got a decision to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want something better. I want something better for my life in 2023, baby. I'm walking into my life and I want me something better. Not if you ain't planning on doing nothing better. And not if you ain't planning on tightening up nothing in your life. And not if you ain't planning on cutting ties with some folk. And, and, and you ain't want nothing, nothing better for your life if you still planning on holding on to the same thing that you've been holding on for umpteen years ago. We get it. You got hurt. We, we get it. You was damaged. We get it that something happened to you and you wasn't the only one that it happened to at the end of the day it's plenty of people that's then went through the same thing that you didn't went through at one point or another you gonna have to stop using your trauma as a clutch and some turn in another you got to stop using your trauma as an excuse you got to stop using the things that you went through in your life as a reason why you depressed i'm so depressed because i didn't went through this 20 years ago 15 years ago i got this in and not just girl pick yourself up nobody got no time for no pity party Ain't nobody got time to be walking around whining and crying about stuff. You got to pick yourself up. You, we, we get it. And we ain't going to keep saying I'm sorry. Understand that. I ain't about to, I ain't finna do that neither, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah, I ain't finna keep saying it. Ain't nobody gonna keep apologizing to you, apologizing to you, apologizing to you over and over and over. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. Girl, get up. How many years ago? I'm going to tell you that right now because I'm not one of them friends. Y'all already know who Coach is, baby. I'm not one of them friends. And you got to tighten up when you come around me. I'm not finna be one of them. We can talk about that situation and you can cry your whole heart out to me the first time. And I'm going to understand and I'm going to pat your back and whatnot. And then after you get finished crying, we're going to sit down and we're going to come up with a whole plan to get this thing together for you. We're going to go ahead and get your U-Haul together. Go ahead and get you some boxes from the UPS place and all of that and make sure that you sit up. But after that, sweetheart, we're not doing no more whining and crying about no situation. I don't believe in dwelling on nothing. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. It ain't, it, it, it ain't going to be coach. I, I don't, not even in my own life. Two finger swinging, baby. I'm up out of there. I will leave you right where I met you at. Understand that I'm not even about to do it. I ain't playing with nothing or nobody when it got something to do with my peace. I'm not playing with nothing or nobody when it got something to do with my sanity. I'm going to tell you that right now. You got one time to make me feel a certain type of way. And baby, uh, one and done. One, one and done. And that's it. I'm one and done. Once you paint me that picture, baby, ain't no trying to, ain't no, you ain't painting me no another one. I ain't got no extra canvases for nobody. Understand that once you show me who you are, then I'm taking you as is. That's exactly who you are. I'm not going to try to make you be what I want you to be. Not going to try to understand it from somebody else's point of view. Ain't no need you trying to bring nobody over here to try to talk to me, to break it down to me. No, you are exactly who you showed me that you were. And I'm moving forward with my life. I don't have the time nor the patience to be out here playing with nobody understand that and that's the type of mentality that you got to be having over your life as we go into this new season what you doing baby i'm increasing my expectations and my top expectation is what i'm expecting to win that's what i'm expecting i'm not walking into no room at all whispering to nobody i'm not walking into no room trying to fit in with the group i'm not walking into no room and i'm not trying to dilute myself so that everybody else can be comfortable with me i'm not doing any of that i'm walking in a room with my chest out i'm walking in the room with my head high i'm walking in the room and i'm walking in there when i walk in there i'm not walking in as no coward understand that i'm gonna be aggressive i'm gonna be passionate i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be raw i'm gonna be blunt i'm gonna be uncut baby you better know that uh, I, I supposed to be here. Oh, uh, yeah, I sure enough. I supposed to be here. I don't care nothing about none of that, baby. I supposed to be here. They, yeah, yeah, I supposed to be here. Every single room that I go in in 2023, you better understand me. I supposed to be here. I supposed to be here. Ain't no need you trying to run down your, 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 your education to me. Ain't no need you trying to run down your plaques to me. Because I can care less. I can tell you that right now. I don't care what type of training that you got and from whom you may have gotten it from. I come from the school of hard knocks, baby. I might not be able to tell you how to make a million dollars might not be able to tell you how to go get you a fancy car might not be able to tell you how to go purchase your first home but one of the things that i can tell you is that you can come back from anything and one thing i can teach you is that that trauma that you're holding on to oh baby you can get past that that's what i can teach you i can teach you how to rebuild your self-esteem i can teach you how to rebuild your confidence i can teach you how to walk away from anything that's not servicing you anything that's not honoring you that's the reason why it says life coach i can help you get your life together understand that that's what i I do yeah that, that that's what i do that's what i do 
Yeah, that's what I do, baby. That's that. That's that's that on that. And ain't no. And, and you ain't gonna make me feel less than. You not gonna make me feel like, oh yeah, well she she don't. I, I don't care what nobody else say, baby. I got I got folk. I got some folk that to tell you otherwise. I got some folk that's gonna co-sign me. I got some folk that's gonna say, nah, I don't know about that deal. Yes, sir. Understand that, baby. Some of us we didn't come from the trenches. We come from the mud, baby. All of that whispering and picking up this and picking up that. We don't need that. We got to have somebody that's in our face. We got to have somebody that's gonna tell us the truth about our life. We got to have somebody that's gonna be right there to let us know up front, baby. You looking crazy right now. It's time to tighten up, sweetheart. It's time for you to get on up. I understand that you hurt, but it's time for you to get some motion again. Understand that that's the type of people that we need right now. We don't need nobody stroking our egos. We don't need nobody watering it down for us. We don't need nobody that's coming through to sugarcoat it. That's the reason why we've been in the situations that we've been in for so long. Now it's time to grow up. Now it's time to dust yourself off. Now it's time to realize that you still got some skin in this game. Now it's time to increase your expectations and stop speaking all of that negativity over your life and understand that you deserve a win. That's right. Not only am I expecting a win, I deserve it. And do. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Shaquan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, put that in your nose, baby. You deserve this. I, yeah, I, I ain't just expecting my win. I deserve it. I deserve my win, baby. You don't know what I done been through. You don't know what I done been through. You don't know how, how life didn't beat me, baby. You don't know about the knots that I done had upside my head. You don't know about the ice packs that I had to go to sleep with. Oh, you don't know what I done been through, sweetheart. You don't know about the times I spent in a doctor's office. You don't know the time that I done spent over here in a boarding school. You don't know the times that I went to sleep after eating what air. Hello, somebody. That's right. What? No food in the house what no food in the belly i didn't have to go to sleep eating pecans from up off the ground and you think that i'm about to tiptoe around folk you think that i'm about to play nice with folk you don't know what i didn't been through i didn't been raising myself since i've been 10 or 11 years old i didn't have to figure it out since i've been 10 or 11 years old folk oh why are you so passionate why are you so aggressive you sound like an angry black woman you would be angry too if you had to go through some of the things that i went through but you're mistaken it's not anger it's passion Sick and tired of folk being broken. Sick and tired of folk being down bad and thinking that they can't come back from nothing. If I start running down my story and everything that I done went through, and even as a child, some of y'all will want to pick your little story up and fold it up and put it in your back pocket. Come on now, you got to get up. Yeah, we all can be out here crying and whining about something, but that ain't going to get you nowhere. We can all be out here pouting and moping and going on, but that ain't going to get you nowhere. We can all be out here throwing a pity party and soaking in what we done went through in our past, but that ain't going to get you nowhere. If you're not speaking on that situation to encourage somebody to tell a person that I've been there too and you can grow from that, then why are you having a conversation? Matter of fact, let's normalize not even telling folk our part when they come to talk to you we don't need to know you went through it too hey, don't nothing get on my nerve like a me too person anyway we don't need to know what happened to you too let's just listen let's just listen to what they got going on let's just normalize that let's normalize when a person come to you to try to tell you about their life and try to vent about what they got going on in their life let's let's normalize you not having to tell your part of the story as well okay you did yeah we, we understand you didn't been there too but this ain't about you in this moment everything ain't about you you ain't got to make everything about you you know what i'm saying learn how to be a good listener you want to help somebody sometimes just be quiet you know what i'm saying just be quiet because yeah we, we don't we don't need all of that be getting on my dog on nerve oh i went through that Ooh, shut up we don't want to hear about yours yeah you still going through it you ain't let it go yet especially if you ain't about to tell it to us in a way that's gonna be uplifted and whatnot we don't want to hear about you crying about the same thing over and over and over again and y'all y'all might as well go ahead and counsel christmas because coach is not one of them baby i'm sensitive but i'm sensitive to an extent i believe everything i do in life is gonna bring me some i gotta have some type of boundaries baby and i'm just one of them you ain't finna tell me about the same thing over and over and over i'm not finna give you that same reaction the first time the first time you're gonna get me is gonna be the first time that you're gonna get me and after that i'm done with it understand that after that i'm done with it i'm over that i done moved on to the next thing and i hope and pray that you have done the same because the willing on stuff i'm not able to do i can't i can't do it mm -mm. And, and 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 also while i'm talking about normalizing that's normalized when folk tell you that they don't want to be with you you only give them one time to do that 
Yeah, that that was I, I just been I've been wanting to say that all morning. I, that ain't got nothing to do with the lie, but I just been wanting to say that all morning. I've been wanting I've, I've been wanting to get that off of me all morning, Lord. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Let's normalize when folks say that they don't want to be with you. You only give them one time to say that. Can y'all put that in your notes? I just want to know because I, I I can't for the life of me understand why y'all let people tell y'all that multiple times. I, I I don't get it. Why you let somebody tell you over and over and over again that they don't want you? How how you know what I'm saying? You got to have self esteem that is cracked and on the ground for you think that for you what? You ain't got but one time up. You ain't even got to say it if you make me feel like, oh, I'm up out of the door. Yeah, what? No, you, no, baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. No, once you tell, once you tell me that you don't want me, that's the end of that. Once you say that you're not happy here, oh, that's the end of that. Once you say that you're not filled here or, or being refilled here or being nothing, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the end of that. You were not, oh, no, 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 baby. If you think for one second, if I was already in a relationship with you and I was already giving you the best that I got, Anita Baker, giving her the best that I got. Understand, if I was already giving you the best that I got and that wasn't good enough for you, then, baby, you are just not the one for me. Understand that I'm not giving giving folk more of what they already don't appreciate so if you don't appreciate the love that i give to you then more love will not be coming your way understand that you got one and done once you say that out of your mouth then that's it for me baby i'm a firm believer in you don't allow nobody to continue to come over to you and hurt your feelings over and over and the first time that they tell you that they don't want you or they don't want the relationship just know that they're waiting on your reaction they're waiting on you to cry they're waiting on you to fold they're waiting on you to run after them they're waiting on you to send this long response they waiting on you to go over out your way because they want to see how far you're going to go to chase them down. Baby, I ain't doing no chasing, baby. I want you to understand that you want to be a dog. I'll show you Clifford. Understand that I can show you how I can put the game on two players real fast, baby. But when I start playing, it's going to, yeah, your chest going to cave in. Hey, yeah, it's gonna be a little lot of chest pains, baby. Don't they? Yeah, you gonna be a whole lot of chest pain, baby. I start playing the game, honey. Y'all gonna want to get your little scooter and get to scooting real fast. Understand that get to scooting real fast. You want to pick up your ball and go home. You don't want to play no more. Want to turn the game off and whatnot. Ain't nobody chasing you, honey. Ain't nobody running after you. I just I need for folk to understand that ain't nobody chasing you. Ain't nobody running after you. Ain't nobody begging you to act right. Not we're not doing that, baby. My I'm increasing my expectations. What you doing? I'm expecting the people that surrounded me to come all the way here already i'm not i don't want no people around me that i gotta fix i don't want no people around me that i gotta save i'm not interested in taking on no new projects increasing my expectations means that i'm increasing my expectations of the quality of people that i'm associated with i no longer want to be attached to people that are broken and are comfortable being broken i no longer want to be attached to people that are comfortable dealing with drama and holding on to their past trauma as their clutches and thinking that they can pe treat people any kind of way because of the experiences that they had. I'm no longer wanting that. I'm increasing my expectations. I want good quality people around me. I don't want to deal with the foolishness anymore. I'm expecting to win. That's right. No matter what my situation looks like, I know that there's a win at the end. I don't care how many no's that I get. I know that a yes is coming. Don't care how many doors that's been closed. I know one of those doors are going to open. I know that I might not understand it, might not see it in that moment but baby my time is going to come I'm expecting to win I'm increasing my expectations I'm changing the way that I think and the way that I speak over my life um yeah that's what I'm doing I'm playing right now I'm not playing with nobody mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it, baby. You want to do that? Hey, uh, this ain't the season for that. If you thought I was gonna tiptoe around 2023, baby, you got me messed up. 2023, baby, it's the year of me. It's the year of me. Who you working on? Me? Who you pouring into? Me? Who you trying to fix? Me? Who you looking for peace for? Me? Who you looking for sanity for? Me? You can go ahead and say whatever you want to say. Call me selfish all you want to. You can say whatever you want to say. Oh, you think it's all about you and do? You think that you're the only person that matter in my life? Understand that I'm done making people more important than I make myself. I'm done running after folk and not being slow and not having no type of sense of urgency when it got something to do with me. The 2023 is the year of me. Understand that. That's what I'm focusing on. And if you can't handle that, if that bothers you, if that irritates you, if that upsets you in any type of way, shape, or form, me telling you that I'm going to make myself a priority and that I'm increasing my expectations and that I'm expecting something out of this year, if that bothers you, if that triggers you, if that puts you in your little feelings, then that 
that is doing nothing but exposing to me that you're not the type of individual that I thought that you was because the only people that's going to get upset about you choosing yourself and choosing your health and your development and your happiness is people that benefit from you being broken. Find somebody else to do it. Fine, so I don't care where I'm at. I could be Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. But guess what? Yep, I'm coming up out of that. Understand that. Look in there, baby. I'm in there dancing around with them, baby. I'm over there about to be over. I'm, about, I'm up in the fiery furnace making me some s'mores. Y'all know Coach Love a good s'more. Don't get me them big marshmallows. I love the big ones, too. Big marshmallows. Give me my little stick, baby. Let me go ahead and get comfortable if we're going to be here for a second, baby. I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm, I'm not letting nobody play with me. I'm not letting nobody discourage. Me. I'm not letting nobody distract me. I'm not letting nobody pull me out of position. I'm staying aligned. I done told y'all a million times already, sweetie. I done pulled out. That's right. I done moved over that fear. I done took out that fear and I done inserted faith, baby. Understand that faith. That's what I'm walking by. Faith. That's what I'm waking up to. Faith. That's how I'm operating all throughout my year. Understand that the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, it ain't got to be tangible for me, but I know it's mine. It ain't got to be. I ain't got to be able to go over there and pick it up right now in this moment, but I know that it's on the way. Any relationships that end, any people that walk away, then guess what? I'm understanding that you had to walk away because it was something about you that I did not know. It was some things that you was doing, some ways that you was behaving that I did not know. And guess what I done did, y'all? I'm going to tell y'all right now. I done gave God the permission to do what? Make an executive decision in my life. Show sure did. <laughs> I ain't lost nobody that I needed. Mm -mm. I ain't lost nobody that I needed, baby. Yeah, the, sol the solid ones, they still here. I ain't lost nobody that I needed. My solid ones is still here, baby. Y'all done messed up now. I done, went, I done messed around, baby. I done gave them executive decisions. Executive decisions, you make them all my life. You ain't got to consult me. You ain't got to run it by me or none of that. If you say that they ain't no good, if you put them in a situation where they walking away, if they decide that they no longer want to be connected, if they decide that they don't want no more dealings with me, you ain't got to worry about me texting you, asking you where you been. You ain't got to worry about me blowing up your phone, asking you if you going to come by oh baby no executive decisions baby if you not here you not supposed to be here if i ain't heard from you then i ain't got no business hearing from you if you ain't no longer on the team and you ain't no longer supporting and you ain't no longer this that and the third then guess what it is what it is i ain't got the time nor the patience where my church people at baby i ain't got the time or the patience to be questioning god about nothing that he's doing in my life that's right cover me baby cover me and give me the strength to endure it that's right you ain't got to take me out of my situation just give me the strength that i need to get to the other side you ain't got to come check on me about it at all if it ain't for me it ain't for me and i'm gonna take your word at it that's right you ain't got to do none of that if they ain't call me i'm not calling them they ain't text me i'm not texting them they ain't reach out to me i'm not reaching out to them i'm not going outside of my way i'm not going over there knocking on nobody's door i'm not doing none of that baby i'm not popping up nowhere where i heard you was gonna be at none of that sweetheart i want you to understand snip snip mm executive decisions baby you ain't gotta run it by me go ahead and do it honey i ain't, I ain't gonna go ask them why i ain't asking nobody why not why you ain't invite me girl i don't care you know what i'm saying why you ain't asked me to come over girl i wasn't coming you know what i'm saying it don't even matter to me baby yeah go ahead save your invite because i don't want to be i ain't trying to be nowhere that i'm not welcome because sometimes you can get an invite and still not be welcome oh baby the devil is a lie you won't play with me not in this season baby this is my season of expectation hello somebody yeah i try yeah i know y'all be laughing at me but i be so for real you know what i'm saying y'all got <laughs> Y'all gotta know me to know you got you gotta really know me to know that I be I be dead serious. I'm telling you, I be I be so serious, baby. Cause some folk they will. They'll play with you like that, sweetie. They'll invite you, but still was they'll invite you, but you still ain't welcome. They'll invite you because so just so they can say that you was invited. They'll invite you just so that you won't have nothing to say. And then when you get over there, they'll treat you like you're invisible. They'll get you over there and then treat you like you ain't even there. Oh, you ain't finna pick and play with me, sweetheart. You ain't gotta invite me because you invited somebody else that we was cool with understand that we 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 separate folk if you invited them and that's what y'all doing then that's fine don't feel like you got to include me matter of fact i'm on a six i'm on a six month lock-in with myself anyway i don't want to go nowhere i don't want to deal with nobody the only thing i want to do is things that are beneficial to me my growth my development my business my brand all i'm doing for the next six months is if it ain't got nothing to do with motivation or speaking if it ain't got nothing to do with life coaching or me making these t-shirts that y'all got me backed up on if it ain't got nothing to do with that then they ain't no need to invite me anyway because i'm not coming
that's that on that baby that's right because see it's hard for me to say that i'm expecting to win but i'm not expecting to have to do no work it's hard for me to say that i'm expecting to have a certain thing happen in my life but then i'm not expecting to have to do nothing in order for me to be able to obtain it so in order for me to win the way that i want to win i got to be locked in in order for me to be able to grow the way that i want to grow i got to be committed to the process and dedicated to learning in order for me to be able to do the things that i want to do by the end of this six months i got to be able to put in some work and not only put in the work i gotta trust in the work that i'm putting in faith without works is dead works without faith is also dead because why in the world would you want to work on something that you don't even believe in and how can you expect other folks to believe in something that you're doing when you don't even believe in it oh the devil is a lie i'm gonna work out all my skills before i give them to you i'm gonna go through the stuff that i'm telling you to do to make sure that when you do it you can have that same outcome if you follow the steps yeah you gotta lead by example you are yeah you gotta lead by example you can't just be telling people to go do something and you go do the total opposite of it you can't tell folk to have faith and you ain't got none you can't tell folk oh yeah well let me life coach you and you ever every time it turn around you having a mental breakdown you you can't coach me you can't coach me you can't help me you can't even help you 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 broken every other week can't coach me that's like when you in a relationship with somebody now i'm being for real though because i be seeing this you know you 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 can't do that because that's just like you being in a situation with a man you know what i'm saying i'm just using men as an example don't get mad at me all my male followers but women we don't want to follow a man a man who ain't got no direction if the man ain't got no direction we don't want to follow him we keep saying we ain't gonna be submissive to somebody that don't know where they going how you gonna lead me somewhere when you don't even know where you going that's the same thing when you picking a life coach ain't it that's the same exact thing if i see you and you having a meltdown every other week if i see you and you're constantly sad and depressed if i see you and you're forever going through something if i see you and you're not living the life that you're telling me that i can have if i don't see any fruits of your labor if i don't see anything coming up with your harvest then why in the world would i want you to life coach me you need a coach no six months i gotta replenish my own cup Yep, y'all might have thought y'all was going to get one up on me. Nope, I'm getting in y'all classes too. I'm trying to figure out what y'all teaching. I want to know what y'all doing. Doggone right. My, I try to believe in setting my people up for success. You go into my Patreon, ain't no telling what you're going to find. I got videos going up all the time, every day. I got cute memes, you know what I'm saying, that means something, that actually something that they can apply to their life. I do that every day. It's something going up inside my Patreon. It ain't just me. I, I get other, you know what I'm saying, other life coaches. I bring them into my Patreon as well. I share the screen with them. Let them give you their perspective but what they think well, let me tell you why because some things that i do it might not be the what you needed but what they come and say it might be something that you needed and i feel like you know being a good life coach and being a really good motivational speaker i think that it requires you to be also be open-minded and also be teachable and understand that you don't know it all and i want to set my folk up for success i want them to walk away saying you know what I, i've been in her patreon for a long time and she be getting down in there that's what i want i want folk to walk away happy i want folk to walk away feeling inspired i want folk to walk away feeling uplifted i want folk to stroll through there and you able to look at the different videos and you able to go through the different information and you able to take good notes you know what i'm saying get up in the morning and you ain't gotta go to facebook you ain't gotta go to instagram you ain't gotta go to youtube you can go right there to the patreon and select you a good motivational video and you can just run on the treadmill or do your workout man no i'm trying to set folk up for success i ain't got time to be playing with folk I'm not following nobody who ain't got no direction. You whining and crying and having meltdowns every day, you ain't the one for me. I'm just, I'm just saying, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got time. I ain't got time to do it at all. That's probably why I ain't got many friends neither. I used to have a lot of friends, and then I started working on myself. So now I only got like two friends left. But if you go on my Facebook page, I used to have a lot of friends. But when I decided that I was changing my life in 2017, they started to get slimmer and slimmer. And then, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, it just got to the point now I only got two. I only got two, two friends. I can't count Josh because Josh like my brother, but I got two, two friends. I'm all I got. That's all I got, y'all. That's all I got left. You know what I'm saying? You know, that that's all I got left. But you know, one of the things that I'm definitely learning is that less is more. 
You feel me? Less is definitely more. It just what it just what it is. I'm cool with it. You feel me? I'm 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 cool with it. I ain't need I don't need a bunch of folk anyway. I'm cool with it. But the thing about it is, you know what I'm saying? You find out who are your real people when you start working on yourself. You find out who's really for you when you start working on yourself. You when you find out, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is wake up every day and really make yourself a priority and you will see exactly who's on your side and who's not. Some folk are only around you and only deal with you because of the benefits of you and you got to be smart enough to know that and for a very long time I wasn't and I'm not ashamed to say it for a very long time I wasn't aware of that and I was allowing them to use my skills my gifts my talents to build what they wanted to build you know what I'm saying they would look at what I want to do oh yeah you oh, everybody wants you to come out to the event everybody wants you to show up for whatever it is that they got going on as long as it's free as long as you will show up for free as long as you will drive out there hours and put the miles on your car as long as you buy the flight as long as you pay for everything then they want you to be there oh yeah and they want to broadcast it everywhere such and such is coming and she's going to do whoop the whoop and i let them use me i let them take advantage of me and i was selling myself short i was over here doing stuff for two and three hundred dollars when everybody else was doing it for four and five thousand so here i am selling myself short and as long as i do that everybody wants you to come to their city everybody wants you to show up for their event everybody wants you to be a part of this this and this but the moment that you start putting a price on it and saying that I'm no longer going to allow you guys to use my gifts and use my talents to do what it is that you're doing to build who you are. I'm not doing that no more. Then now all of a sudden, oh yeah, how much is it to book you? The price is the price, baby. And yesterday's price ain't today's price. The price, the price is the price. That's 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 how we gonna do it. Those of you who've been getting coaching, y'all price ain't changed. It's the same thing. LeroyHall.com. Go get your coaching sessions, baby. That's just what it's gonna be. I'm not I'm not playing with these folks though. I'll be in your city whether they bring me or not. Understand? I'm in the process now. I'm booking build. I'm booking my own buildings in Folk City. You can ask anybody. I'm booking my own folk building in Folk City, and I'ma bring myself to your city. The only thing that you gotta do is promote it. The only thing you gotta do is make sure. Where we get at least 50 to 75 tickets sold and i'm there let me tell you why because god gonna always provide understand that i sell 50 tickets that's a flight and a building cost and i'm there might not be top notch how other folk be doing but baby i'm in the building and the word gonna be with me that's how i'm doing they talking about street that's how you're gonna do it for real and i am and i am i don't know until i get out there and try and the only way for me to get started doing it is for me to get started doing it, right? Like, what I'm going to do? Keep putting it off, keep putting it off, keep putting it off, telling y'all I'm going to do a tour and don't do it? No, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to make it happen. It might start out a little ratchet, but by the end of the year... <laughs> <laughs> by the end of the, by the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might see some flowers and roses and whatnot, but no, we're going to have to start out with lilies, baby. Y'all gonna have to start out with daisies right along with me. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? We'll get to the roses and whatnot at the end. <laughs> but, but hey, look, the price gonna be the price. Y'all might, you know what I'm saying? Y'all show up right now. First couple of ones, y'all might get some chicken wings, some macaroni and cheese, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of garden salad. And by the end of the year, we might be doing lamb chops and whatnot. But I mean, you gotta start somewhere. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna have to start, y'all. I'm a firm believer. I told y'all all year round, I said the same thing. I said, you gotta show up. Just show up. So when it come down to this tour, that's me showing up. And, I, you know, I know I'm funny, y'all. I can't help it, man. I, my mama told me this yesterday. The Reverend was really cracking up yesterday. She was like, yo, why are you like this? I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I be for real about what I'm saying. I guess it's just how I say it that just cracks her up and y'all too. I don't know. It, I be for real, though. But uh, we talked about my tour and I told her, I said, you know, the thing is I got people in every state that want to see me i got people that want to love on me that want to support me that want to feel my energy and they've been they've been following me for a very long time and if i wait on everybody else to book me if i wait on everybody else to create a space for me then i feel like i'll just be waiting you know what I'm saying? And I feel I'm the firm believer that if you want something, then you go and get it. If you want something, you show up for it. If you want something, then you get out there and you make it happen. If you want that type of motion, then you have to create it. And you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, that's just how I feel. And to know that Dallas, Texas, January 28th is already like sold out. You know what I'm saying? That's already like, it's, it's sold out. It's only six tickets left. 
and to know that Charlotte Eventbrite link is up now and everybody is already booking for Charlotte and that's February. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, again, God is going to provide. Doors are going to open. Things are going to happen and it's going to be what it's going to be. Regardless of the fact, I don't care who in the building, I'm there. And when I get up there, whether it's a packed house or half a packed house or whatever, I'm going to bring what I supposed to bring. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be prepared and it's going to be what it's going to be. That's just how it's, you know, that's just what's up with me. So, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm expecting to win. I'm increasing my expectations all of 2023. I just want to tell you guys that, you know what I mean? Y'all, those of you that follow me, I love you guys. Um, Thank you guys so much for the love and the support. Those of you who have already copped your tickets, thank you so much. It's six more, so y'all go and get them if you're in Dallas. Um, Charlotte, on February 25th, we're there. And then Atlanta, we're going to be out there in March. Brooklyn, New York, we're going to be there in April. So you guys get ready. Miami, we got y'all on the list. Kansas, we got y'all on the list. Louisiana, y'all are definitely on the list you know what i'm saying charleston south carolina y'all are on the list so yes we got other places we're coming most definitely going to be in the building cali most definitely i'm coming out there I, I i'm coming to cali philadelphia i'm coming you know what i mean i'm coming i'll be in philadelphia march the second through the fifth I'm coming. So just know that I will be in the city, man. I love you guys so, so much, man. And I just want to tell y'all every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground. I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you able to love anybody else. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your favorite online motivational speaker and life coach. It's your girl, Street Poet. Thank you guys so much. Go to my website to grab tickets. It's Leroy hall.com matter of fact the link is in my bio if you guys are not if you guys are not following my patreon make sure you do so my mental health support group every single thursday 7 p.m eastern standard time bring your questions your comments your testimonies any good books that you're reading any feedback that you want to give to the group show up every single thursday 7 p.m eastern standard time mental health support group is inside the patreon get subscribed if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one Life coaching sessions hit that same link that's in my bio go to my website look and see the dates and the times that I have available make sure you get in man because life coaching is going real crazy right now I don't know what it is but like it is blown up so much and I love it you know what I'm saying I don't know if it's just because of the YouTube and there's more you know more people getting on but yes make sure y'all going to secure y'all slots because they are definitely going extremely fast man so I want to say that to you guys but if I motivated you if I lifted your spirits in any type of way shape or form go ahead and double tap on my screen send me some love real quick send me some love ashley is all man listen ashley this is the second live in a row where she didn't been my top supporter on my live video appreciate you ash man get ready for pillow talk too because you know you got to be a guest on my podcast as soon as i get it up and running man you know what i'm saying i man listen i is i i share I don't care. I'm, I'm a sharer, y'all. I'm a sharer. If I can help you create a platform, if I can help you, you know, build what you're doing, especially when I support you and your movement, and it's always something that's positive, that's uplifting, those are the type of people and relationships that I build. I build nothing but healthy connections. So with that being said, y'all, please make sure y'all go and y'all subscribe to her. Follow her page as well. It's Love Loving Living Single. Make sure y'all go and support. Uh, man, go and support her most definitely she's like the she's been i think it's been a year now you know what i'm saying living single living uh wait, i'm sorry is loving single i'm sorry loving single y'all make sure y'all go and subscribe well follow her on tiktok um as well she also has her website and everything going she's also a life coach and she's amazing at it i, I want yeah she's amazing at it like you know what i mean so yes most definitely y'all go and y'all support her as well like i said she's all she's it's been like a year i think that she's been following me and supporting me and pouring into everything that i do i think she's been in the patreon for a whole entire year as well so yes y'all y'all do that i mean you know what i'm saying any other coaches that's on here if you are coaching you're on here um you got to let me know you got to let me know so I can shout you guys out. I, like I said, I believe in setting everybody up for uh, success. And I want to see us all win. And it's going to take all of us together to work together to really be able to, you know, reach the mass. You know what I mean? And that's that's what I love about our relationship. She and I, our relationship, like, is never a competition. It's all about us helping people as a collective and motivating people as a collective. You know what I mean? 
So most definitely, uh, y'all go and do that. But I'm going to get up off of here. I love you guys so, so much. I'll double tap on the screen. We almost, let's get it to 800K. We almost at 800K anyway. So let's just, let's go ahead and run it up. We at 772 right now. Double tap on the screen. Send some love through. Send some love through. What's going on? Yellow Ronnie Six, man. Happy New Year. You know what I'm saying? To my favorite mod, man. One, man, she's been thugging it out with me for over a year now as well. So thank you so much, Ronnie. It's Brit. I haven't seen It's Brit on here a minute, but you know what I'm saying? Happy New Year to you as well. Josh, uh, the villain. I don't know why he got that as his name because he's definitely not a villain. He's a real teddy bear. But Happy New Year's to you as well. New Year to you as well, man. Shout out my mod. Shout out my supporters. Antoinette, I see you. Shaquan, I saw you on here as well. Dessa, I saw you on here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everybody that's inside my Patreon. Thank you, love. 3336. 3336. Thank you. Uh, Catch the brief. Appreciate the flowers, man. Thank y'all so much. My uh Mimi, appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And happy new years to everybody. Oh, there we go. We had 800 k well, 806 um on these likes already, man. Thank you guys so so much. I love you guys, and I will see you guys again soon. If not, y'all know where to find me in the Patreon. That's where I'm always at. So videos definitely going down all the time, every other day inside of the Patreon. Honestly, it's been going every day. I've been uploading every day for these past couple of days. Okay, man, I'm gonna get up off of here. I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.